a scammer preys on a victim because the victim has a void in their life. Most of our clients will say, I was divorced, I was widowed, I just broke up from a really long relationship. Most of these people are lonely, they just want some affection or someone to talk to. They have low self-esteem, looking for love. A scammer will feed off that little vulnerability. They know exactly the buttons to push, they know exactly what to say, and by the time it happens, it's already too late. The most common mistake we see is that they give money, never met the person. They usually just have a photograph, a phone number, or they just do it by email or they do it by Skype. If you're going to meet somebody online, you, you cannot divulge all your information. And also what you want to do is write down in certain things. I went to this type of school, or I had this type of job, or I did this, because sometimes they might tell you something that is truth, and most of the time it's a lie, but the one thing that he tells you that's the truth, we can build from there. Just don't send money. They may not ask for it straight out. They may prompt you to offer it, but I would never send anybody money. You don't want to start a relationship with someone giving them money. That's not true love.